Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? One question, who did it? Who did it? Who had dinosaur release, Jurassic Park, anything for 500 in 2023? Who did it? It was you? Bastard. So listen, there is an insect that was found on the side of a Fayetteville, Arkansas big box store and has been identified as a species. Can't pronounce it. <laughs> Can't pronounce it, but I'll put it right down here. Okay. Which belongs to a family of insects that predates the dinosaurs. So who did it? Own up right now. Who did it? Who <laughs> who guessed dinosaurs? <laughs> in 2023 okay so ugh. so the director of Pennsylvania State University has uh, in the insect identification lab spotted the Jurassic error creature otherwise known as a giant lace wing on a shopping trip in 2012 2012 it's 2023 and he he did this when he was a doctoral student of entomology at the university of arkansas he said i remember it vividly because i was walking into walmart of course <laughs> walmart <laughs> of all places walmart to get milk when i saw this huge insect on the side of a building i thought it looked interesting so I put it in my hand and did the rest of my shopping with it between my fingers. You know, we get upset at people who bring dogs that aren't service animals. It's a service bug. <laughs> it's a service bug. <laughs> Stop it. Into stores. And now this guy is bringing in an insect that predates the dinosaurs <laughs> into Walmart. Anyway, he said, I got home, I mounted it. What? <laughs> Stop it, Sean. And promptly forgot about it for almost a decade. So this thing, it wasn't alive. You mounted it. What? shut up so he initially had misidentified the lace wing as an antlion i had no idea that there was an antlion i'm getting scared an antlion it's a dragonfly like insect that shares certain features including long transparent wings like the lace wing. But after presenting the insect to his online entomology course in the fall of 2020, he realized that what he had all those years was something much more rare and more impressive. He performed further DNA analysis to confirm the identity of this insect. And the giant lace wing has now become part of the Frost Entomological Museum's collection at Penn State. So this giant bug vanished in the 1950s from the Eastern North America, where it was formerly widespread, according to a paper that was co-authored by this guy who found this bug that was published in the Proceedings of the Entomological Society of Washington. And scientists thought that the species had been completely wiped out of the region. Now, the recent discovery of the lacewing in Arkansas is the first record of the species in the state. Now, entomology can function as a leading indicator uh, for ecology. And the fact that this insect was spotted in a region that has not been seen in over half a century tells us something more broadly about the environment. 
While the mysterious disappearance of the insect is suspected to have been due to efforts to suppress natural forest fires in eastern North America, the bigger mystery is how the insect ended up at a Walmart in the urban area of Arkansas. I'd like to know the answer to that as well. Climate change. Climate change. Knock it off. So it could have been a hundred years since the species was even in this area. And it's been years since it's been spotted anywhere near it. The next closest place that they've been found was 1200 miles away. So very unlikely it would have traveled that far. This lacewig was attracted to the lights and flew at least a few hundred meters from where it had been living. This man has found that open, he opened the door for future discoveries as insect enthusiasts begin to check their own collections and search for the species in the wild in the places that they hadn't thought to look before. Any time you find an insect species, not in a place that you're used to being in, that has a lot of implications for our understanding of that species, the kind of distribution it has, the kind of ecosystem that it might require to complete its life cycle. It means something that we thought was gone, at least from the eastern U.S., may still actually be there and it's just hiding in small pockets. It's also noted that the importance of the museum collections, such as the one with the Smithsonian or at Penn State, where the lacewig resides, as they help to capture different snapshots of biodiversity across time and allows us to see what is happening and why it is happening. Now, everybody always sorts of focuses in on the big stuff, big birds, mammals, things like that. But this is an insect world. We're just living on it. And it is really important to have that sort of appreciation. And one of the nice things about insects really is that there is so much diversity for you to appreciate just in your own backyard. Okay guys, that's all for this video. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping. Stop laughing, Sean. And as always, fear less. Ciao. I wasn't laughing at you, I'm laughing at Stormy. You're just... Ugh.